Okay, so let's talk about chapter quizzes. And I'll start by looking at the syllabus to show you that it's 20% of your grade. There's 13 of them. Each one accounts for 1.454% of your overall grade. Okay, so just know that, that it is an important part of the class. So let's just go to our course, right, hitting home. And under here you can see that the first quiz and when it will be due. So if you click on the quiz, you'll get some basic information about the quiz. And um, it talks about the My IT Lab. And you might wonder how it's related. Because uh, My IT Lab is where you do your Word, Excel, and um, Access. And you actually take the final, which you already know about that. But also in My IT Lab, which I'm sure I've at least mentioned once, and I'll go ahead and go over here because I'm logged in. In here, under your course materials, there's the ebook. So I'm guessing several of you have uh, selected the option to only use the ebook for our course. So I'm going to go ahead and click in here, and it does this little pop up, and then I finally get in there. So now, close this. So by the way, make sure you're checking for pop-ups here to make to make sure things are working as per required. Uh, if you ever don't get a pop-up or something that doesn't look like it's working, always check your address bar to see if there's a little X, which would indicate a pop-up blocker. Okay, so as an example, I can go into chapter one and here's all the chapter information, the text, the content. I do have a search feature which is really awesome as well. So I want to show you that option. But I'm going to go back to the quiz. Okay. And in here it talks about that I recommend you read the chapter first and then attempt the quiz to see how much information you retained. And you can take the mini quiz as many times as you'd like before the due date. Okay. So uh, really important to know that. And then the quiz does save as you uh, go through it, which I'll actually walk you through an example now. Um, if you do miss taking a quiz and not just taking it, which we would call an attempt, but actually completing it, if you don't do that by the due date, I will place a zero into your grade. You can still complete the item, but will be marked as late. Okay. All right. So in this case, you can see for chapter one, uh, the due date and you can also see this is a student account that I actually took it twice already and the other thing you can see is that it kept the highest one okay and in this case it just happened to be the same score so it took the second one okay so let's just take the quiz okay so I'm just showing you here the other idea here is that it's good to take the quiz multiple times because it prepares you for taking the final all right, so here we go. Here's the quizzes. It's 30, and I said this up here, randomly selected questions from the textbook, okay? And I've already talked about e, so he, the ebook. So here I'm going to just scroll through. I'm using my scroll mouse to scroll through and look at the questions. Some of them are true or false. Some of them are multiple choice. Some of them, I'm hoping I see one here, are fill in the blank. So it's really important that you uh, spell these correctly because if you don't, if you don't use exactly the right term, and again, I'm going to refer you to the ebook here, that's a reason to have that on hand so that you can make sure the words that you're using are correct because these fill in the blanks will have a little bit, um, not a little bit, they will mark you, I believe, as wrong if you don't have the exact um, spelling. Okay, so for some reason, I'm not sure on this one, I may have to go find out why it gives you more of an editor, but that's not a big deal. And this one is multiple choice. Ah, here's the one I'm looking for. So on this particular question, it shows match the following terms to their meaning. So here's the terms and here's the meanings and how you answer this. So make sure you're putting this in your notes as you take, okay, so crowdsourcing, which of these would be the answer to crowdsourcing? Right? So if you know the answer, right, you could put it in here and I'm just going to guess um, crowdsourcing versus crowdfunding, right? So it's important to read and understand the differences. So you would solicit small donations would be funding, so that would, and used by marketers to online input. So I'm guessing that's E. So the first one, crowdsourcing, would be E, crowdfunding, and then you'd put a comma here for the next one, so crowdfunding would be D. So you would go through, in order to get the point, you'd have to go through each one of these and say this item corresponds to this one, 
he says the idea of matching. So other than that, these are pretty standard questions uh, out of the chapter. Uh, and now here's the other thing. Uh, let me go ahead and just do a couple here. I'm not even really going to read the question. I'm just going to click in here. And notice what this says at the very bottom is it's saved. So what happens is as soon as you click anything, and again, these are not the right answers. I'm just randomly doing it. What happens is it automatically saves for you. Okay. And the other thing you can tell is at the top, and I'm not sure why it's not. Oh, there it is. So I noticed this earlier as I was moving through the questions, it will also um, indicate, oh, that's why I can scroll through to each question. That's why I wasn't seeing the little check mark. Okay. So when it checks, that means it has the answer saved. Okay. So you can, <coughs> in this case, and this is what I want you to know, you can start the quiz, right, and not complete it. Now, what's, uh, and it shows you an elapsed time, but there's not, that's not important for our particular course because you can take it as many times as you want until the due date. Now, let me just go ahead and hit home, and it'll warn me. It says, you're about to navigate away. Do you want to? And I'm going to say yes. Okay. Now, in my case, I'm just going to go to my grade because I've already taken this particular chapter quiz twice, right, chapter one, and I'm going to see if it shows anything for my attempts. Okay, so right now, because I have started a quiz, but I haven't completed it, I will see a resume quiz. So these attempts is what you really want to see, right? So if you see at least one attempt, that means when I look at it, I will have seen you've completed one. But if you see only a resumed quiz, that means you don't have an attempt complete, and therefore I would consider it not complete, and I would put a zero in there, right? So make sure you have a complete on there. So I just want to show you now that I've done, um, I've gotten out of it, I can go back to my home. I can go back to the chapter quiz here. I can go back and resume the quiz, and it will take me right back where I was with the questions that I've saved. All right, so I think that should give you enough to at least understand the basic uh, concepts around how to do quizzes. Again, I recommend reading those chapters, doing a quiz to see how well you retain the information because the more times you see these questions, the more, the more likely you'll do well on the final. All right, see you later.